Welcome to another training session on UC. Today we will be looking at energy monitoring. UC collects data for energy monitoring on a group by group basis. Groups which are to be monitored must first be selected. To perform this selection you must be logged in as administrator. Let's see how we make these selections for particular groups. First of all, we go to the configuration page and then select groups. You'll notice in the group settings there is a column which is called monitor energy. Any group in this column will be included as part of the data collection for energy monitoring. UC continuously collects data for all the marked groups at a high rate. This is then decimated to produce an average result which is stored at one minute intervals. The tools we are about to examine allow this historical data to be visualized and compared. Let's have a look at the visualization tools available in UC. First of all, we're going to go back to the home page. One important thing to note is that you do not have to be logged in to examine energy monitoring data. So actually, let's now log out. I click on the log out and you can now see that in fact no one is logged in to the current system. And yet still I will have access and be able to view and examine all the historical energy data that has been collected. To do this we simply click the energy monitoring button on the left hand side of the home page. This will load the data that we have collected to date and display it in a graph as you can see on the screen. The controls in the top half of the page allow us to set up how the, the data is displayed in the graph. We can change the date range over which the data is displayed. We can change the date interval. Some examples here are auto, in which case data is scaled most appropriately to fit the view. One hour, two hours, etc. all the way up to a day. Another thing that's possible is we can view things by preset date ranges. So for instance we can look at today. If we go to today you will now see the view change to the 17th of October. As I mentioned earlier energy monitoring is performed on a group by group basis. And you can see to the left of the control here at the top we have the ability to either look at individual groups or to look at the highest consumption groups. Let's change our date range to the current week. So I'm going to go from the 12th of October until the 18th of October. And now we can see with the auto scaling that the graph is redrawn underneath showing the relevant data over that time period. The view we're currently examining is a stacked chart and you'll notice that as I slide the cursor over this chart and stop at a particular sample point for every single group is highlighted and its power consumption is shown. So for instance we can see that in the open plan office for this particular sample which is at 10 o'clock on the 16th of October the open plan office had a consumption of 0.43 kilowatts and the main corridor a consumption of 0.12 kilowatts. If you wish to zoom this view it couldn't be easier take your cursor to the point you want to start the selection from, click with the mouse and drag. You'll notice as you do this that a highlighted area appears. As soon as I release the mouse button then the graph will zoom to that area. 
At the same time, you'll see this zoom overview shown at the top of the graph. And in fact, I can tweak that view simply by pulling this control. And this will change the zoom. If I want to go back and show everything again, I just go to the Show All button and I jump back into my unzoomed view. As I mentioned, we're currently looking at a stacked chart view. At the bottom of the page here, you'll see a control. And from this, I have the ability to select different types of chart views. So we can look, for instance, at a line chart. We can look at a column chart. A step chart. A smooth line chart. Let's go back to our stats chart. Another thing you'll notice is that uh, not only when I move the cursor across are all the data points highlighted for each sample, but at the bottom there is a key which is color coded which identifies the groups as well. So it's easy to glance across this and see which are the highest contributors. If I want to give myself a little bit more room on the page, I can hide the uh, control at the top of the page. So it maximizes the area given over to the graph. The control at the bottom right hand corner of the chart allows me to create an image of the chart we're currently viewing in this web page, and that will be in a PNG format. It allows me to export the chart data into an Excel file or it allows me to prepare the image on the web page for printing. Let's quickly look at the PNG image. If I click on this, it will create the PNG image. And if I open this up, there we go, that's the PNG image. It doesn't quite fit within my capture wi window for the video for this session, but um, it's all there and can be used later. If I click here quickly, we can see um, an energy usage um, is now been exported into Excel in a comma separated variable format, a CSV file. And if we open that, you'll see also here's the CSV file. You get all the group names come across, all the times uh, and all the data points. And finally, clicking the print icon prepares our chart to go to a printer and you'll see a dialog open, here it comes, which shows you a preview and allows you to um, manipulate that preview to get the best result on your, for your printed image. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to compare the energy consumption of a single group across two different periods. Let's start by selecting a group. In this instance here, we're looking at the main corridor. Well, we'll notice now that having done this, we have a new part of the control has appeared, and this allows us to compare a previous equivalent data range. The graph at the moment is showing a range from the 12th of October to the 18th of October. And if I click the button here, you'll now see that we're comparing the previous week for the same group. So this is very useful when you get into an environment where you might want to understand why the energy um, consumption has been changing so much. If I wish to, I could compare this data on a month by month basis. If I go to the preset date ranges and we look at last month, you'll now see that in fact we are looking at the group called Main Corridor and we are comparing August of this year to September of this year. I hope this session on energy monitoring training has shown you how powerful the visualization tools are in UC, how easy it is to manipulate the data zoom into the data and make comparisons over different periods of time for the same groups. How easy you can export data into other programs and print images which can go into reports. 
Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this training session on UC.